At Pittsburgh State University, we use Mastercam to inspire learning. Uh, the capabilities of the software are so depth that yes, it can do the standard pocket and contour type machine that you can get from a lot of softwares, but it allows the kids' imagination to come to life. The Wood Technology Program is not the only uh, program using this software. It's used throughout our um, College of Technology. Uh, our manufacturing program uses it extensively. They have a water jet and an Akuma that they are using. Most technology teachers view new software as a burden, but I gotta be honest, teaching Mastercam, walking into that classroom is a, a fun environment because of the endless possibilities and how we can capture what was once a thought. We can turn that into tool paths and geometry, and then we can take that out to the router, and then that student can sit there and hold what was once a thought. They now are holding it in their hands we're trying to simulate a rock being dropped into a reflection pond and how it ripples out. And so we were actually able to calculate that sine wave and then through Mastercam now we are actually machining that wave. And then that wave will hang for the next 20, 30 years in our uh, engineering lab, which the students will be able to look up and be reminded of the capabilities and the power uh, that they have within the program. Every year I have students ask me, hey, I want to program five axis. Um, tell me more, give me more, and they sit down with the software and I aid them along the way, but it's a lot of self-directed learning and they're able to pick it up and go stand out the router and turn out uh, finished parts, of which then it's always the smile at the end of their pride saying, I accomplished this, I did this type thing that makes it all worth it. Another example of the inspired learning is a student took on this project completely on their own outside of class and it was his goal, he's a very compassionate guitar player, it was his goal to produce a guitar uh, completely on the five axis router. He wanted to do zero hand machining of this. And so you can see that he did all six faces here of this. Uh, he wrote every single program necessary to do this. This happens to be a prototype that got left behind for me. Uh, but the finished piece turned out absolutely beautiful. What and the students can imagine, they're able to cut out in Mastercam or through the process of.